Welcome to this short video on how I programmed this roller coaster simulation in Python. First, I start with setting the step size. So, the delta t is 5 milliseconds, the total time is 24 seconds, and then it calculates the total number of steps needed. I will come back to this in a second. For the physical properties, we have the mass of the cart. This is 6,000 kilograms. This is gravity. These are used for the air resistance calculation, and this is used for the rolling resistance calculation. The list T is the list with the time since the beginning. Here I open the track points.txt file and load it using numpy into ps. So now ps contains the coordinates of 1000 points of the track. You can generate this file using your CAD software. P is the point on the track that is next, so the point that you're traveling to. So in the beginning, you're at point zero, so you're traveling to point one. These starts and stops determine the intervals where you're upside down. So at this coordinate, you turn upside down, and at this coordinate, you stop being upside down, and it's the same for these two. If you want to add a third, upside down interval you can do that by adding the same as this one underneath this and adding them also to the list ud or the array ud here you can see the motion property lists i will explain the meaning of these when they are calculated at first they are all zeros and then i set the values so here i set the initial values for example the zeroth element becomes one for the list between. This is where the calculation really starts. So you need to calculate the closest next point. And you can do this by adding the distance to the previous point and the next point. Because you don't want to find just the closest point because then you will travel backwards to the previous point once you pass it. Once you find that point, you save it to P. Then you add the position to between, so the list between contains always the next point that you're traveling to. Then you calculate the coordinates using ISO 80000-2. So these are some basic calculations to find the angles. Then we calculate gravity and we split it into two components the accelerating component and the normal component. So I do this with vectors because then you can easily find the normal component by just subtracting it from the total gravity vector. Now I can calculate the acceleration velocity and position. First I calculate the acceleration due to friction and drag. Then I can calculate the total acceleration by subtracting the acceleration due to friction and drag from the accelerating component of gravity. Here I calculate the new velocity by using the old velocity plus the acceleration times delta t. And for the movement, it's about the same, but with velocity and acceleration. And the new position is the old position plus the movement. In this link, there is an explanation on how to calculate the midpoint of a circle in three dimensions if there are three points given. And this is the calculation that I derived from it. So first I take three points. So that's the next point, the previous point, and the current point. Then I calculate the sides of the triangle that these three points form. Then I do a collinearity check. So this checks if the points are not collinear. If they are, then the midpoint is set to infinity and the radius is also set to infinity and there is no g-force at that point. If they are not collinear, then I calculate the midpoint and the radius by using these formulas. These also come from the link. After that, you can calculate the direction of the radius and you can also calculate the 
equivalent acceleration due to the centrifugal force this is with the velocity squared and the radius of the track then you can calculate the total g-force using all the accelerations and you can calculate the normal g-force using the normal components of gravity and the equivalent acceleration that you just calculate you could also project this factor to get the normal component after that i make a plot that i'll show you in just a second make a csv file with all the data in it convert it to an excel file and also make a 2d plot of this data so now i will run the file and you will see the results so here is the 3d visualization so if we zoom in a bit the gray factor is gravity the black factor is the accelerating component here it's decelerating the orange factor is the normal component of gravity the red factor is the equivalent centrifugal acceleration and the yellow factor is the total acceleration or the total g-force and in the beginning in the code there was a setting where you can set how close these vectors are together so you can display more or less of them or none if you want none and if you close this a second window pops up and this shows the normal g-force so that's the black component it also displays the velocity the acceleration and the height that was it for this video if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments below there will also be a link to github in the description where you can find the code and also the files with track points so you can test it yourself and after that you can also use it to simulate your own track or do anything else with it so yeah that was it thanks for watching bye